Hi John, how are you? Hi David, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, we're here to discuss the variable definition content block. Um, you know, do you have any nice stories from AI Ghana for us? Yes, I do. So uh, at AI Ghana, we work with a lot of data sets. You know, we we are interested in promoting AI. You know, in solving real problems in Ghana and beyond. Yes. So I remember a situation where we were helping a, an organization that manages um, riders, motor riders. You know, you know, to get the time it takes for them to pick up an item and deliver it in Nairobi, for instance. And in Nairobi. You know, so they. Yeah, so they had to bring data from different sources to, to try and, you know, get a model that does this. So you, you, you mean data about how long it takes to go from one place to the other? Yes. <laughs> so you got the problem of Nairobi traffic. So presumably yes. the difference between cars and motorbikes is a big deal in this. You know, so if this, you merge this, was, this was motorbikes. This was <laughs> motorbikes. <laughs> I've been stuck in a car in Nairobi for over an hour without moving. So I hope, you know, no. the difference between using data of time it takes to get from one place to the other on a motorbike or in a car is huge. So, you know, that's yes. a perfect example of where, you know, if you merge from different data sources and you're not paying attention, I can easily yes. see how you get data, you get responses or results which aren't representative. What a wonderful example. Yeah. Uh, the, so so the, now imagine imagine someone who didn't pay the attention and brought in car data set, you know. You know, so you're just means, potentially if it's the wrong time of day, you're expanding the sort of time it takes immensely. No, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this is something so, where we've actually got you you know, in the minute game, there's this really interesting example with weeding. You know, we, we okay. put a little thing in on weeding about the variable definition. That, you know, actually, if you remember in the millet game when you were sort of doing the analysis, you know, weeding doesn't work the same in each region. Well, in each, yes. be, you know, in the story, yes. it's because in, in one region, you know, they had this really innovative new way of sort of doing the weeding and it was working really well for them. And then the mm. researchers took it to the other regions who didn't understand what they were doing. And, and so it didn't work in the same way and it wasn't the same thing. So that actually yeah. the weeding variable is not the same in the three regions. It's, it's a nice little bit. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah, I think data analysts have to really pay attention when they do things like that. Yes, to avoid those sort of biases that can. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's one of these simple things. It's a very simple thing. But, you know, it's so easily overlooked, you know, that you're sort yeah. of, you take the data, you know, you want to analyze it, you get it stuck in. You don't necessarily think to say, well, is it, is it actually the same? Um, does it mean the same thing? The COVID example, uh, you know, is, is one which always hits me on this. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the different definitions of COVID deaths um, and how you, you can't do, therefore, proper comparisons because it's not like with like. Yeah, it, the the way in which the the different countries you know define COVID, you know, is different. So, so you, but you, you have, have to compare. It's the only thing you've got. So people use it for comparisons because it's yeah. all they've got. And yet, if you use this to make big critical decisions, you can be being misled by the data because um, yes. you no, know, well. And if you have the time, you'd then sort of actually think, well, what are the differences between the definitions? Can we actually model the differences? Can we get transformations from one to the other? And so, so the, the, key, the key thing is if you know where the data has come from and therefore which data, which definition might apply, no. that's the starting point. Anyway, th this has been fun. Um, uh, let, let's hope other people have enjoyed this sort of this content block and, and found it useful. Yeah, I hope so as well. Yeah. Thanks, John. Cheers. Welcome. Yes, thanks.